Friendliest Animals in the World. Hey everyone, welcome back to Tall Tannic. I'm your host, Alexa. With 8.7 million species of animals identified, there must be a multitude of them that are super friendly and lovable. The list isn't long though, because most animals keep to themselves and are not interested in having a loving relationship with other animals and especially not humans. Even though these animals are considered friendly, I do advise you to proceed with caution. Most animals like to keep to themselves. Giant pandas. Not too long ago, the best job in the world was advertised, hugging baby panda bears. The job paid $32,000 a year and it included meals, accommodation, and transport. One snag, you needed to move to China, but the snag didn't deter people with many applicants willing to work for free. That proves just how sweet, lovable, and friendly pandas are. Giant pandas come from the mountains of central China and 99% of their diet is bamboo. They weigh a hefty 135 kilograms or 300 pounds and sadly, they are an endangered species. One of the reasons why they are endangered is that female pandas only ovulate once a year and they're only fertile for two to three days, leaving a minuscule period for the possibility of becoming pregnant. If you'd like to cuddle these giant creatures, head to the Giant Panda Research and Breeding Center located in Chengdu, China. Horses. Horses have been helping humans for centuries and are said to be as intelligent as dogs. Horse lovers will argue they are far more intelligent than dogs, but research leans towards animals who need to hunt for their food to be slightly smarter. Personally, I will sit this one out, and everyone can argue in the comments down below. Horses make amazing companions for people and show great empathy towards humans. They're friendly, loyal, social, and never forget a human friend. Horses all have their own distinct personality and no two horses are alike, so you can really develop a personal relationship with them. Cats. Cats versus dogs. Some say you are either a dog lover or a cat lover, but you can never be both. I disagree, there's always room for both, as both gives you tons of affection. Although I admit cats do it in their own special way. I know, not all cats are friendly, sometimes only saving that special display for the closest to them, but that doesn't mean they don't dish it out. They have special little noises reserved to show their affection for you. They love to wrap their bodies around you and nudge you with their little heads. They're also prone to a little light or cat weight dependent heavy kneading before falling asleep contentedly in your lap. The most social cat breeds are the Tonkinese breeds, and one of the largest domestic breeds is the Maine Coon. In our experience, the most loving and friendly cats are those that have been rescued from your local animal shelter. Rabbits. These four-legged fluff balls are just begging for hugs and cuddles. Okay, maybe that's just me wishing for that, but rabbits can be genuinely affectionate and ultra-friendly. Much like cats, their personalities can vary greatly. Not all rabbits will love being picked up and cuddled, and you need to respect that. In order to really get the most out of your bunny, remember the following. Rabbits are very sociable animals. They like being with other rabbits and are happier in company. They also need a lot of exercise and room to run around. Rabbits can live for up to 12 years, so you need to be willing to commit to them for a long time. Rabbits are also crepuscular, which means they usually sleep during the day and are active at night. They're generally most active at dusk and dawn. They need a lot of care, so make sure you're comfortable with the commitment. Then your rabbit will reward you with loads of affection. Dolphins. Said to be amongst the smartest animals in the world, dolphins are also some of the friendliest. They are extremely sociable animals, and many sea lovers will share some spectacular stories of their close encounters with dolphins. Dolphins also love to play tricks on each other and people. There are some stories emerging of not so kosher dolphin behavior, but for the most part, they are not harmful to humans. Dolphins can work together to achieve a common goal. For example, opening a container filled with fish and they can recognize themselves in mirrors. Unfortunately, dolphins' friends, i.e. humans, do not always help the dolphins and we are their biggest threat. Netting is a big problem, along with pollution, habitat loss, and climate change. Guinea pigs. These cute critters don't just have adorable looks, but they're great little companions. They're part of the rodent family and are usually found in pairs in the wild. These self-grooming animals are neither pigs nor from Guinea. Guinea pigs are very chatty animals. They often have big conversations with each other. And make a note of this, they do not get along with rabbits. So 
Despite them both being quite friendly, you won't bring out their best sides if you try to pair them together. These cuties can live for up to 14 years and are quick learners, so you'll have ample time to educate yours. Capybara. This intriguing animal has been classed as the friendliest animal in the world. This incredible rodent is native to Central and South America, generally in swampy areas and close to water. They eat mainly grass and need loads of water to keep their dry skin moist. These guys are amazing swimmers and can stay underwater for five minutes in order to hide themselves from predators. They are also extremely sociable. They live in groups of 10 and 30 members and can live for up to 12 years in captivity. Capybaras are very popular animals with all sorts of wildlife feeling comfortable in their presence. The world's largest rodent is like the most popular kid in class and gets along with everyone. Birds often hitch a ride on its back along with monkeys and even ducks. If you choose to have a capybara as a pet, you'll need to feed it a lot as an adult. One can weigh as much as a human adult. Swans. Okay, before you think about that crazy video you saw of a swan chasing somebody and scaring the living daylights out of them, let me just tell you this. Swans are the symbol of purity, beauty, grace, love, loyalty, and elegance. Swans recognize people and get along well with other species. People have mistakenly believed that swans are not compatible with other animals, going so far as to get swans on a lake to keep Canada geese away. The plan backfired with the swans, Canada geese, and all sorts of other ducks and pond animals living in perfect harmony. Places like New York have labeled the swan as invasive, as the swans are said to destroy submerged aquatic vegetation. In New York, the swans are said to dominate the shallower waters, making it more challenging for native birds and animals to eat and drink. Beluga Whale Whales and friendly are perhaps not two words you would usually place together, but in this case, the beluga whale is just that. This friendly arctic and subarctic cetacean belongs to the monodontidae family, and they're known for their sociability. Some scientists go as far as to say that beluga whales are the most sociable of all the cetaceans and are often heading off with other whales or branching off to join other pods with no hassles. Beluga whales are also called sea canaries because they're very vocal. They have distinct high-pitched noises that include bleats, chirps, whistles, and clicks. They can even mimic human sounds. These cool whales are related to narwhals and can swim backwards. Turtles. When it comes to friendly natures, turtles are often depicted in children's movies as being chilled out dudes with a c'est la vie attitude, and it seems those cartoonish depictions are not too far off. Turtles are friendly sea creatures who feast on jellyfish and seagrass, and by eating the seagrass, they keep it short, which means other marine life don't get trapped in it. Turtles have lived in the oceans for around 110 million years, give or take a few thousand years, and they can hold their breath for five hours underwater. Sheep. It's believed that sheep were domesticated between 11,000 and 8,000 BC in Mesopotamia and may have been man's best friend before the dog. Sheep are gentle-natured animals and surprisingly make good pets. If you do decide to go down this road, ensure you get a hornless sheep because the horned ones can get a little aggressive toward your other pets. Miniature lambs are the best breed to have as pets, but note they do their business anywhere and everywhere. Sheep are very difficult to house train and many people opt to putting nappies on their sheep with a hole for the tail, but honestly, I just can't condone that. If you raise the sheep from baby and bottle feed it, it will assume you are the mother and be devoted to you. They're excellent with children and may not be as affectionate as a dog, but it will love you in its own sweet way. Manatees. Sure, they're not exactly going to be all cuddly with humans, but as far as animals go, manatees are friendly and adorable. Some have described these good-natured beasts as swimming potatoes. They're roly-poly giants that love doing barrel rolls and don't mind the odd human in their space. These gentle giants live in coastal waters and rivers, and they're the largest herbivores in the ocean. Adults can reach lengths of 13 feet or 4 meters and can weigh as much as 1,300 pounds. That's 590 kilograms. Manatees can learn basic tasks, are sensitive to touch, and know the difference between colors. In Florida, it's possible to swim with manatees, and visitors are encouraged passive observation, whereby they wait for the manatees to come to them. Which of these animals is your favorite? When I was a kid, I owned guinea pigs with my sister, so I'll always love them, but I want to know your favorites or if you've ever encountered one of these creatures in the wild. Tell me all about it in the comments down below. 1. Pangolins 
These solitary animals are placid and gentle, and sadly their defense mechanism doesn't help them much when they need to escape predators. When they feel threatened, they simply roll up into a ball and wait for the danger to go away. Humans have used that to their advantage and simply picked up the gentle creature and used them to their advantage. They are illegally traded and are currently listed on IUCN's red list of animals threatened with extinction. They're currently the most trafficked mammal in the world. Penguins have been around for over 80 million years and feast on 200,000 ants and termites daily. Their tongues are almost the length of their bodies and they store stones in their tummy to help grind up their food. They're gentle, friendly, and calm animals and will benefit greatly from being hugged by humans as opposed to being trafficked by them. If you can't hug a penguin, see what your local community is doing to help save them and get involved. 